everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I secure my wigs. This is especially useful for photo shoots that require lots of movement. Special thank you to Chrisma Wigs for sponsoring this beautiful blonde lace front. Let's get started. Since I have bangs, I'm just going to skip them at first and start with the longer hair. I'm going to part it down the middle, lift a section and wrap it around two fingers and then lay it flat against my head. Just like when you're doing pin curls. I'm making two of these curls on either side of the part. Depending on how much hair you have or how much grip you need, you can either make these bigger or smaller. The reason for these rolls is that it helps lay your hair down flat and it gives your bobby pins something to grip onto. If you just stuff your hair into a wig cap, the bobby pins won't really have something to hold onto. I have pretty short and relatively thin hair, so you might have to adjust these techniques to fit your requirements. Alternatively, you can also braid your hair, but I personally like this method best. It's all about preference. Now that I've done the rolls or curls, whatever you want to call them, I'm going to deal with my bangs and my side cut. For this I use snap clips. These were simply bought on Amazon. I add a whole roll of the snap clips in the front and where I have my side cut. These are really great if you have short hair and can't roll it up or braid it. When I secure my lace front wigs, I push the pins underneath the snap clips so that the wig is extra secure. If you can already feel that the clips are pulling at your hair, make sure to readjust them, since it could potentially build up a headache if you wear this for a longer time. I also put in a couple in the back for good measure. Next up, the wig cap. Here I'm using a nude one provided to me by Christmas Wigs. Depending on your preference, you can also use a mesh wig cap. Next, I'm securing the wig cap with pins. I make sure to find the clip so that I can push the pins underneath them. I do this around the entire wig cap, so in the front and in the back. Now it's time for the wig. This wig has a very soft, nice quality lace. I've already cut most of it, but as you can see, I've left about a centimeter of lace. Never cut the lace completely close to the hair, since it might get damaged, and if you have a little excess, you always have the option to cut off a little more. I like to kind of slide my wigs on from the back. The wig I have here is a platinum blonde lace front wig with dark roots and a middle parting from Christmas Wigs. You can find a link in the description. Once it's on, I start out by securing it with these giant pins. I always use them to make a cross on the top of my head. Depending on how secure I need it to be, I'll add more in the back and front. Then I secure it around the edges with smaller pins. I make sure to feel where the snap clips are so I can push the pins underneath those. The styling is as it was when it came out of the bag, but the wig is heat resistant, so maybe at some point I'll have a little fun with an alternative styling. The wig feels pretty snug around my forehead, so I'm just going to glue down the sides. Here I'm using my favorite matte mastics from Cryolan. I love this product because it doesn't get shiny like some other spirit gums. I apply the mastics and wait for it to get tacky. 
I tap it with my finger and once I feel it sticking, I press down the lace using a pin. And now you can go out into the world knowing that no one will snatch your wig off. Or at least not without ripping out a chunk of your own hair. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was educational in some way.